What's going on, guys? Uh, let's take a look at setting up uh, Super Nintendo for Emulation Station. Um, for this one, we're going to need uh, SNES 9X. This is the one that works best, best with Emulation Station. I've tried other ones. They don't work nearly as well or at all. So I'll provide the link in the description down below for you to download it. Um, and then, of course, you're going to need a ROM and Emulation Station already installed. So if you don't have it installed, stop, go back, install it. I got a video for that. Um, my ROM that I'll be bringing to show and tell today is going to be Super Mario World. And um, I've already got my emulator downloaded, so you can stop the video, go download it, come back. Um, let's go ahead and open up our emulation station folder. And it's under users, your name, and of course, dot emulation station. Um, I've already created the ROMs folder, so we'll just go ahead and throw that in there first. Um, I'm going to title this uh, SNES, and yours will probably look a little bit different considering you're probably old, having other ROMs already in there, you know, and stuff like that. So I'm just going to copy and paste into our folder. So now we have Emulation Station ROMs, uh, sorry, and SNES, and then the game. And um, next we'll put a system in there. This is really good, yeah, easy to do, just uh, SNES, enter, and then we're going to go ahead and open up our um, zip folder, and we're just going to drag and drop everything down in that folder so it's all there now. So should look pretty much just like this. Really simple, really easy to do. This emulator doesn't take a lot to set up. Um, systems, SNES, and then this. So ahead of time, we're going to copy this name because we need to use it in our um, systems configuration folder, our file now. So we're going to open that up. I use Notepad++ because it's the easiest. Um, and I've actually already got it set up here, so I really didn't need to copy that. But um, go ahead and pause the video here and take a look at um, what I've got up. Basically, this is how you need to have your configuration set up, except for, you know, if your... Um, paths are a little bit different from mine. If you don't keep your ROMs in the same emulation station folder, maybe you have it on a different hard drive or something like that, totally fine. Just make sure everything reflects the way it's supposed to. And um, once that's done, save it, close it out, and we're ready to go. That's really it. That's all there is to need to do there. Um, I'm not, not going to talk for uh, testing this and setting or uh, showing how it works. Only because, for whatever reason, uh, the recording software bugs out completely. It happened on the last one. So mm -hmm. let's make sure this works. Uh, turn our controller on, because we know we need to, before we start Emulation Station. And we're going to boot it up. All right, cool. And that's it. I apologize for the screen going buggy and wigging out there too with a 4K monitor. Emulation Station doesn't really like that on the recording software. On my side, it looks perfect. It looks great. It's uh, super vibrant and everything, although it's not in 4K. Um, but that's it. That's all that needs to be done. Um, one caveat, though, with this particular um, emulator that I saw was that... Um, you can run it in full screen, but it's kind of, there's a couple of tricks to get it to work in full screen uh, consistently. So if you want to just go into it and start it up as it is, you'll notice it starts up in this window mode. For most people using Emulation Station, you want to do it in full screen. Uh, what you'll need to do is you need to go to video, full screen, and then Alt F4 out of it. Now, when you open it back up, it should go into full screen. The only problem though, is this stupid border still up here. It's the best I could do to get it to work. If anybody wants to keep testing this and trying it and seeing if there's a way to like, get it to force full windowed or non windowed full screen, uh, that would be awesome. Like leave a comment down below so that the rest of us can make this look a little bit cleaner. But that was the best and easiest way to get that to run. Other emulators work pretty well in staying in full screen. The problem is, 
emulation station can't run them or it won't start with emulation station it just completely wigs out so anyways all right guys awesome thanks for all the comments and helps and everything and uh we'll be uh doing another video pretty soon here i took a while to get this one out we'll do another one soon though uh happy emulating